So today, Property Lim Brothers is at a Japanese house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And so yeah, this is the first time we are selling a Japanese Zen team home. We feel like we're almost right here in Japan and this is almost like 100% full Japanese design and yeah. I think you're gonna love this. Definitely. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so today we are at 440A Fernville Link and uh, as you can see, this place behind us is almost like 100% full Japanese Zen team home. 5 room apartment right here in Fernville, 113 square meters, 3 huge bedrooms, 2 baths, nice size kitchen. The important thing is that there are tons of storage space here which has been designed to this Japanese team. And uh, why don't we start from the entrance and then we'll bring you through the entire place. I think you're gonna love it. Let's go. Uh, Adrian, this is the foyer area and we're actually at the corner stack. Yes, indeed. This layout is fantastic because the people from the outside cannot see directly through to the living area. So upon entering the foyer, you will notice this little design here, Japanese theme concept. Shoe cabinets on the left and on the right, even the top and bottom, comes with added cool flaps at the bottom. Alright, so on this part, of course, is your DB box storage area. So that's where all your plugs and cables are for your lamp points. And of course, you can also hang your umbrellas and some of the broomsticks right here at the bottom as well. On this side will be your enclosed kitchen. Let's have a look at the kitchen first. And this is what we call a shoji door. It's a Japanese so I hope that I got the pronunciation correct. A shoji door is very nice sliding panel that you see in Japan. Kitchen size is fantastic. Let's have a look. Has kept it so immaculate since five years ago. So the view here in your yard area allows you to have like a pocket view of the river. And of course, this is actually your yard area. And what the owner has done is that they stack up this washer come dryer space. So the owner used to uh, have their quick breakfast uh, over here. Right. So when uh, your spouse is preparing food for the family, you can also like chit chat with uh, your hubby here or with your wife or. Uh, just let your kids sit here while you make some breakfast before they head out to school. So there's a lot of tabletop space, loads of storage at the top, loads of storage at the bottom. And uh, I think I, we like the way that they've actually separated the washing bay with the cooking bay so that they can leave this entire portion prepared and for chopping and stuff. And that's like just for all your dish racks and stuff like that. All right, let's head back. We'll head to the living room. Size is great. So for the living room and the entire bedroom flooring, they actually use long strip tiles. This is very durable because you don't have to worry about the wood warping in five to 10 years time and stuff like that. So definitely very, very lasting. The main highlight of this home is this very beautifully done Zen-like Japanese dining space, which actually wraps around your whole living room as well. You can sit up to like six people. You can just put your legs down. Yeah, yeah but the interesting thing is that this is actually a award-winning design by one of the, the designers that designed this whole furniture deck. So right around us, actually, they are all storage space. Every individual compartment fit in a lot of things right underneath this entire L-shaped dining plus living room panel. Of course, this space allows you so much flexibility so you can actually just keep the dining table right into floor space itself so that it will be just one flat line for your kids to play around. It can be like a board game area. This area now is like for the kids play zone and then they can just play right at this corner or they can just come over here and there's like a special feature so there's really like a three seater so far and if you need one more seater there's actually like a recliner here that you can just pull up throw in some cushions there's a japanese design backdrop uh, from this uh, sofa area that separates the dining area and the living area uh, very comfortably Right. The building TV console is already done, it's fully aircon. Otis has also done up the four ceiling plus spotlights and. Uh... Yeah, and also this house <laughs> is uh, made up of two tone, mainly if you see wood finishing and also it's quite in color as well. Alright, so before we head to the bedrooms, if you notice, actually this area is still so underutilized. If you really want to put in an extra table or create like a small little family area here, that's still doable because the hall size is so great. 113 square meters and loads of built-in space, right? So uh, home shelter is right here. Adrian, you want to show something about this place? There's also an additional storage area in front that I mentioned. Without using this space here, because you can keep your vacuum cleaner and your ladders inside, so you can take your luggage from the storage area very easily. Right.
So let's have a look at the third bedroom first. Come on in. Okay, so this room now is like a guest room. The room is also fitted with this nice stack up storage bed. So in case if you're wondering what's the facing of all the bedrooms and the living room area, this is facing towards direct south. There's no afternoon sun. So basically it's like a north-south directional home. It's very, very breezy. We're on a very, very high floor as well. And nice pull up, dual function, storage, study tables. And also not forgetting this is a shoji doll. Let's head to the common bathroom and the bathroom side is great. Also done with brick wall style. So the wall tiles are fantastic uh, in condition. The flooring is also nicely done as well. All right, and now we're into the second bedroom. I think this room has been designed to be like the family chill out room. So let's say the family wants to have a gathering to play some board games over here. This is very, very doable as well. So uh, this space is supposed to be like for daddy yeah. to do work. And this place here is for mommy. Mommy has to work, she can do it here. Uh, daddy can do it over there. Right. And watch your kids up. Uh, playing and also watching a nice uh, TV show over here. Right, and of course if your kids need the table for their board games, this table is exactly like an exact replica of the living room style, so you can actually bring it up, fit it to be like a nice little square table. There's also a recliner right here as well, so if you want to watch TV, you can do a recliner version. Quality of the carpentry is really solid. The laminates are all done very, very well, so it's very well maintained since day one. All right. Let's go! So let's head to the master room. Let's take a look at the master ensuite. It's very functional, very good size, clean, immaculate. Alright, and of course, the master room is the key highlight over here. And uh, I think we'll have a look at this. Yeah, come, let me show you. <laughs> so we're gonna open it. Okay, so this is what we call a standing dressing table. We have a lot of compartments. There's a secret compartment right here. Alright. <laughs> There's a lot of wardrobe space right here. So three huge panels. We have like this step up area. You can just feel the entire size of the master rooms. This fronting is really great because south facing means there's no direct sun. And uh, if you notice, it's actually pretty unblocked. I can even see up to the landed zone uh, at the Gerard Drive area as well. So owners I think a nice queen bed with uh, movable side tables. And of course, this entire panel is all your storage right at the bottom. All right, Adrian, I think we need to demo this. Right, this is a very nice, interesting hotel, Japanese hotel concept. So you can actually use this like breakfast table. And after that, you can just switch it back. So it can then be as your TV console, like as your TV console right mountain here. Cool! Okay, so it's very neat and clean lines. The entire space, importantly, you have 113 square meters to play around with. Uh, but importantly, if you have a lot of storage needs, this Japanese home has everything that you need for storage, storage, and storage. All right. Now, a little bit about the location is that in very close proximity to Salita Mall. From here is a couple of LRT stops to the Senkang MRT station, but it's a self-sufficient town with the upcoming integrated hawker center, community center. And for more shopping needs, you can head down to Compass One Greenwich Shopping Center as well. And for schools, there's actually a lot, a lot of options right here where you'll see Emperor Primary Schools and Secondary School. Now, importantly, is that this is just newly five years MOP and you don't have to do a single ounce of renovation because $80,000 worth of renovation has been packed into this place by our owners. And that's not including the furnitures. And that was only done like five years ago. So my name is Melvin Lim. Adrian Lim. Property okay, Lim Brothers. Brothers. As always, happy to show you the place. Alright, so if you like this home tour, click like, subscribe or leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to show the place. <laughs>